payments on it. Now, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by Witch's Coven Distribution. Thank you again, brother. And we have Broadequin with Methods of Execution, Brutal Mind Productions. Real nice reissue on cassette. Layout and design by Voodoo Design Studios. And this is Methods of Extinction. Now, I mentioned in a previous video, when it comes to Broadequin, all you really, really need also hails to unmatched brutality. All you really need is festivals of death and festival of death and instruments of torture. Like, in my opinion, that's. But I was told like the new record is ridiculous, and yeah, I I, I liked what I heard, but we'll see. Like maybe next month someone hits up the patron and says, get the new Broadequin. If that happens, then guess what I have to get? The new Broadequin. I can always veto that, but I don't think I would. I think I'd be into checking it out, like, physically. But this was around the time when a lot of graphic designers were really utilizing Photoshop. I think, like, I'm not even joking, one out of three of my friends in, like, the early to mid-2000s, including myself, went to school for graphic design. I got a scholarship for like video production and also photography and graphic design. It's just I wasn't moving to Florida at the time. I wasn't ready and it might have been the right thing to do, but I don't want to even think about that shit because that goes back to like when I met Angela and stuff and we're talking about brutal death metal and I'm not trying to get upset so I'm sorry but I would have never met her and yeah I just I, like as much as all this sucks right now I can't imagine having never had her in my life I, I legit I can't so I'm going to shut the fuck up about that stuff and go back into methods of execution. Because, again, when it comes to all the Broadequin stuff up to methods, the cover art is all, like, you know, classic paintings of medieval torture. And it's awesome. I'm sorry, it's just, uh, again, I would love instruments of torture on vinyl just for the artwork. Like, oh my goodness. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the tape, but look at how small the art is in comparison. It's just, you can't go wrong with the but at the same time, I, I love tapes. But sometimes, as much as I like that, you know, classic, um, like, formula like this, you know, you have the album art, the title, and it's like, you know, it kind of looks like a bootleg, but, like, it's not. Like, uh, this is 
such a good black metal release, but uh, yeah, I was trying to figure out real quick, but uh, Festival of Death, I mean, come on. I have to go with, like I said, Instruments of Torture and Festival of Death. But, there's nothing wrong with methods of execution whatsoever. It's brutal as fuck. It's Brodequin. And if you don't have any Brodequin albums physically, and you're at your local record store, let's say, and you went there for Broken Hopes, Swamped in Gore. Like, let's just for example. So you're like, ah, oh, like they're sold out. I really wanted like a sick, brutal slab of death metal. And you see, hey, that's that band Schnell was talking about. Uh, Brodequin or Brodequin, however you say it. Uh, Methods of execution, and then you look at the cover art, and it's just like you have to understand if you are new to all this, this is just a sign of the times back then. So many bands had this style of cover. I mean, even Necrophages Epitaph. Like, look. I was just trying to think of something like kind of fancy and yeah, like adding the Photoshop shit. I, I don't know, I, I always like the back though. But one of my least favorite promo photos, real quick, I just have to. Cause I remember like when I first got this, I was like, what the fuck? Like, Muhammad legit looked like he fell out of, like, fucking American Eagle. Like, he legit looks like, a, like, some jock asshole. While everybody else is like, yo, fuck that guy. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't like that, but come on, Muhammad. Put out whatever the hell you have cooking in the oven. Even if it's like, like, I would rather honestly have some raw like necrophagist demos at this point than a new record because you're not gonna one up offset the future faction i couldn't remember what the first album was called because even epitaph and the re-recording of offset to future faction i think i'm like 99 percent sure but, like, I know they got rid of the drum machine and, like, re-recorded it with a full lineup. Because I think originally it was all just Muhammad. I forget, though. But, yeah, that style... Like, I wish I had my mid-2000s relapse, like even mail order catalog here right now so I could just show you a hundred percent what I'm talking about. I legitimately, aside from, see and that's suffocation, souls to deny, I was honestly so surprised when Seagrave did the cover. I was not expecting them to go, you know, that direction. But at the time, Relapse was not doing the paintings. Like, Miss Machine by the Dillinger Escape Plan had that collage, which was cool because it was different than everything else. And then you look at a band like Burst. Like, the cover to their album, again, it's a photo, but the Photoshop that's added to it just ruins it. The end, fuck the facts, even Origin. Origin have a real sick, where's my, ah, it hurts my neck, god damn it. 
I, I can't. Oh, it's down the basement. But Origin had uh, some paintings as well. I think Abiogenesis. I, I forget. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, Soul to Deny. You know, 2004 comeback album from Suffocation. This was one of the few, aside from like Mastodon's Leviathan, that views paint like actual paintings for the cover art. No Photoshop bullshit on the cover. And that's kind of why, like. I'm not trying to get into suffocation, but real quick, if you're going to reissue something as legendary and gnarly as Despise the Sun, why are you going to change the cover art? Like, yeah, this looks awesome, but you know what looks terrible? Red on red, lo what? Who the fuck did that? Come on, seriously, like, why would you do that? I I'm just grateful to have a copy, to be honest, but it's just one of those things, like, why wouldn't you use, like, oh, like, the white, uh, just use the original fucking cover. I mean, this looks uh, way cooler, but, like, uh, again, just... The way the suffocation font is like almost camouflage for a band that's logo is like legendary in my opinion. Like when I see that suffocation logo, it's like that's suffocation. It was one of the reasons, like cosmetically, I thought the self-titled was just like whack. I thought the S that they had, it just looked like a slipknot type thing, like legitimately. I just remember being like, I hate the artwork so much. And like, Dying Fetus back then, I don't know, and I don't care about their political beliefs, but it was all like Uncle Sam this, you know, it was after 9-11. I get it, but like at the same time, I was like, are all these songs like just songs for soldiers to go around and like do their missions? Like, like what the hell? Like, I don't know. Because at the same time, it's like, all right, because now I know they knew what they were doing when they were adding like hate breed style breakdowns mixed with death metal. I mean, suffocation did it and years before hate breed even existed but like if you're looking for death metal that you can spin kick to well guess what Broadquin does not have you covered on methods of execution I mean I, there's some there's some parts you can obviously mosh to but compared to something like devourment where it's kind of like written to be played live and just bring you know a mix of hardcore and death metal put them together and there you go you have all these I mean look at song with sugar bog right now like playing really high up at hardcore festivals, winning that crowd over, and just making moves as a band after getting a new lineup and taking things a lot more seriously. And I think it's sick that, like, Cody's really leaning into that, like, drum sound that they have to where I'm pretty sure when they play live now, he just uses the drum pad like as a as a kick or a snare. I forget what it is, just so he can have that like 
Sanguasuga Gabog now have their own signature drum sound, and I think that's cool as shit, honestly. But really quick. Methods of Execution by Brodequin, just like the other reissues. Clear Pro Tape. Unmatched Brutality. And Brutal Minds out of Indonesia. Handled the reissue. One of Tennessee's most brutal. And what I meant by, like, you know, no part like there's no parts that were specifically like all right time for the mosh part where i know a lot of bands set out that like all right we're gonna build towards the breakdown like if you're a hardcore band yeah fucking a but if you're like a death metal band that should be the last thing on your mind is all right, where's the breakdown go? Like, a breakdown does not make a song good. Even if it's the sickest breakdown ever, if it's like a 311 song, but then it goes into like the hardest breakdown ever, it's it would still be whack. But I was looking at like some of this merch. I have some sick Broadequin bootleg merch, but I rock that shit. But I, I love, like, just this layout and stuff, having the lyrics with artwork and stuff. It's awesome. But again, like, they went a little overboard with the Photoshop stuff. You have the edgy doll. But, musically, if you're a fan of brutal death metal, I can't think of, you know. Unless you really need breakdowns with your brutal death metal. Like, again, there's a few on here, like this one, sick as shit. what I, I I love their like ability to hold back because again I don't think they knew well around 2004 again this was a weird time in death metal really weird because this was when death core like started you had job for a cowboy and that you know we we re re shredded wheat <laughs> if you know what i'm talking about then you're old like me that's old youtube the waking the cadaver spongebob squarepants video wheat shredded wheat shredded and eat Shredded wheat. Shred it. <laughs> I don't know why I still remember that, but the job for a cowboy won. At the time, I was hair farming. Like a 2004, and my hair was like at that terrible level where it's like a little bit past your ears. And... <sighs> this kid I know was like, yo... You look exactly like the dude from Job for a Cowboy. I had no idea what I was like. Job for it I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like legit, I had no idea. And he went on. It might have even been on MySpace, like some media player that MySpace had. But I remember he showed me the video, and it's like them playing in a desert and. I was like, yo, this is fucking terrible. And then when I saw the dude, I was like, oh, no. 
Like, he legit, like, looked like me at the time, except for I didn't have the, uh, sideways haircut. I, I don't even know how to do it right now. But, like, you know what I'm talking about. Like, the, like, that type of thing. Where, it, yeah, it's fucking corny. I'm sorry, it is. But, like, I know on, like, their later records, I think the one... It legit, they tried to sound like Deicide, and I always thought that dude's low vocals were, like, kind of cool, but he just never really utilized them, and they would do the, like, Black Dahlia murder, good cop, bad cop thing, and I never understood. Like, dude, just make a fucking death metal record. And it's just, I, I never fucking understood it, because it was just, like, right in front of you the whole time. Like, just grab it. But, Brawl to Quinn, Methods of Execution, if you like your death metal, just devastating, heavy as fuck. Uh, you can't really go wrong here, but again, if you have Festival of Death, Instruments of Torture, you kind of don't need it, but if you're, you know... A big fan of brutal death metal, it's pretty essential, I would say. Just because, like, again, and also if you're just a, a fan, you want to get all the releases. But, uh, Slaves to the Pyre, The Gridiron, The Red Theater, Pressing to Plead, Tyburn Field, Lingering Existence, as Banger, Cast into Torment, Verdicrin, Verdrinkin, I'm sorry, Punishment Without Mercy, and Methods of Execution. Now again, like if this is like in your local record store, and you don't have Instruments of Torture, Festival of Death, yo, you can't go wrong. If you have these two, it's up to you. But, yeah. Grade A, top shelf, brutal death metal. I'm just saying. These two, absolutely essential. A banger. But if you have these two, is it really necessary? No. But, yeah, I would say first three, because... I, I give Sinister a pass with hate, so I'm going to give Brawl to Quinn a pass with the methods of execution. Grade A, top shelf, brutal death metal. Because, yeah, it's Brawl to Quinn. It's just those first two records kind of cover all the bases that you need covered. But Methods is just a fun slab of brutality, so enjoy it. Thanks for watching, as always, you fucking rule. Infernal hails and gratitude. Peace.